Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Mode. Um, when we usually do videos like this, we sort of script it and read it out. But today I decided it's quite a close topic, so I'll just improv it from some points. But anyway, so what I've sort of been noticing is now that we've been a month in from Zelda being released, um, Breath of the Wild, um, I haven't seen that many spoilers going around, which is odd for a game like Zelda. They're usually out almost instantly. But um, no, yeah, it's been quite slow going. And any video that does contain any form of spoilers at all, it's been a clear spoiler warning at the beginning. And this, to me, raised quite a weird question. And it was, why are people not spoiling Zelda Breath of the Wild? It's really odd. I mean, Twilight Princess, spoilers are everywhere, you know? It's easy to get it spoiled for you. But this is different. So I just got a couple of points which sort of explain maybe a little bit why people aren't doing it. So yeah, the first thing is it's like it's such a grand scale game that uh, people have been waiting for for so long. I think the original release date announced one was 2015 and obviously pushed back two years to the release with the Switch. And yeah, I feel like because of that and the hype that it sort of drew up because of it, people have gone, well, I'm, I'm not going to be a dick today. I'm not going to ruin someone's day with a major spoiler of like the storyline on it. So people are sort of growing a bit of a conscience because of sort of the community as a whole waiting together. If you sort of get what I mean. Uh, the second point I kind of thought of was, like, the main basis is the open world. So it's quite hard to actually spoil anything unless you're going for main story moments, weapons or environments. Other than that, the game's primarily about your own unique experience inside of this graphical landscape that they developed for you. Because I know, like, some of the stuff I've been doing when playing, uh, I'll speak to my friend about it, and he'll just go, well, I, I haven't done that. Have you done this? And I'm like, I haven't done that thing you've done. So we're sort of switching stories, passing around hints. But I mean, yeah, that, that's the sort of experience I've noticed where it's so wide and you go your own way, figure out your own things. The, the odds are you may run into one major spoiler figgy, but it's not really going to be anything because it's more about the experience. Uh, it's only just crossed my mind that maybe I shouldn't have improv this, but oh well, we're going for it now. Uh, the next thing I noticed is like, the reviews have been insanely good for the game. It's a month old now. People are still relishing over it, loving it. Uh, people are starting to complete it, which is really good for them. Um, yeah, so spoilers are starting to crop up, but where the reviews have still been amazingly good. Unless you literally type in Zelda Final Boss or Zelda All Cutscenes, the odds are you're not going to have the game spoiled for you. I mean, I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube anyway, so this might just be me, but there you go. It, yeah, it's quite hard to actually have a look and get a spoiler. But yeah, like, and weather reviews have been crazy good as well. This is arguably insanely good for Nintendo. Because like, no one's spoiling the game. Everyone's adding spoiler warnings. And just Nintendo's getting word of mouth speech. Just advertisement for free, pretty much. It's amazing. Yeah, and so the last point I was kind of thinking about is how Zelda's obviously been around for a, maybe 27 years, maybe longer. I remember like the 25th anniversary. I can't remember how long it's on now. But um, yeah, I think people are finally starting to understand that this is a series which means a lot to people. And maybe they shouldn't be dicks. That's sort of the big one. You know, people are starting to realise, hey man, maybe I shouldn't ruin this game for like the whole census. You know, so well done people. Stop being arseholes. Good work. Yeah, I mean, this is an amazing game. It's just a weird thing. I, I might do a follow-up video where I look into it a bit more and not do improv, but I do fully scripted. But yeah, it's quite odd for there not to be spoilers about a game like widespread everywhere. Cause I, I even searched just then, I went onto YouTube and I searched like, you know, Zelda, Final Boss, blah, blah, blah. And it came up with a few, but even then, in some of the titles, it still had spoilers. It's like, well, that's kind of obvious, but, you know, thank you for covering my boundaries and bases. But yeah, so anyway, thank you for watching. It's, it's just a short video, I just wanted to get something out there. It's just a small opinion on why maybe people aren't, um, you know, spreading the spoilers about and actually letting people experience the game for their own, which is, it's always nice. But yeah, um, more videos coming up soon. I just wanted to fill the gap because we've had some recording issues and editing issues and all stuff like that. And the gameplay, I'm going to try and not have any spoilers in. It's just going to be my footage of running around for, for maybe 10 minutes or so, 20 minutes. And I'm just going to crop it down to fit into this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Bye.